I want my family and friends to be recognised and be free to come and visit me whenever I want. And I want to be free, I want to go where I want, and I want to eat what I want, and I want to eat chocolate all day long, and I want them to know that. So I've written my own care plan ready for when I go into a care home. I, I would want gardening and that sort of thing. Yeah, it, it, it's, you know, and the singing in the dancing, which they do here like quite often, it just brings you back to life. Um, if they came to a stage where I, I was moving into a home, I'd like to come somewhere like Brunel Care because they do support you and make you feel like this is your home, not somewhere where you're going to just be until perhaps your end of life. A nursing home compared to a residential home means generally means that the, our residents that live with us tend to need more complex care needs. So some are quite physically um, disabled and some are, you know, m many of our residents have a dementia um, ranging from early stages dementia with mild, mild memory loss to end stage dementia. We encourage people to be actively involved in the, in the running of the home. Um, so we don't have things like visiting hours. We encourage families and friends to come and visit two or three times before the, their loved one moves in. We engage the, loved, the, you know, the person in choosing the things for their room. So they may choose the colour scheme, the paint, the carpet, and they can have their room how they want. Um, we encourage families to come and have lunch and meals with their relatives. We, we do individual one-to-one -one activities. It could just be a coffee morning and social activity. It could be doll therapy. Um, but we also have lots of events and lots of arranged activities. We could do pampering as a way of, that can be a one-to-one -one activity. So one person may get the hand massage, the leg massage, and foot spas. That may tend to be for people who don't join in all the other activities or we will use um, a pampering session as a group session. So there will be music and coffee flowing, but there will be lots of nail painting and hand massage and, and shoulder massage and foot spas. The residents tend to love the pamper sessions. <coughs> the REM pod is a reminiscence pod that's been introduced and we, we've only, it's only been in the home about three months and it's basically a, a, a setting in a 1950s lounge and we just find the residents absolutely love it. It stimulates memories of the past um, and it, it, it just they just constantly talk about the things that you know in the past and we've got lots of memory boxes so one about um, play so lots of old like spinning tops um, the old 1950s annuals um, and old wooden toys. We've got one about um, household stuff, so things that they might have had in the house in the 1950s. I, I became involved with Deerhurst when my mum came here as a resident, and that's almost 10 years ago now when my mum was first admitted here. Uh, my mother was blind, she was deaf, she had chronic dementia and very severe behavioural problems and Deerhurst was one of very few homes that would actually accept my mother as a resident and it was certainly the only one that I'd seen that I wanted my mother to come to. I'm chairman and treasurer of Deerhurst uh, Amenity Fund and I'm supported by a wonderful group of uh, volunteers who assist me in all, all the work that we do. Our responsibilities are to raise money to provide entertainments for the nursing home, that's musicians come in to entertain. Uh, we have aromatherapists that come in and provide services for, for uh, residents, all manner of things. And, and to see the pleasure that the residents here get from, from the work that we do. Uh, what greater reward can you have? I think a lot of people tend to think they go into a home and that's it. but. Leslie always says you come into this home to live and there's, there's so many activities, they have many bus trips and things like that, um, that there's all something to occupy them. Brenda years ago she, she used to like dancing and singing 
and then when that comes in your ear, like it's quite a few times a week because we got the wireless on all day. When it comes to the old records, she's a different person. She starts to dance and starts to sing. It's really, it really brings her out. You know, it's very, very good. I think the important um, philosophy for everyone to know, if, as you're part of Bruno Care, whether you live or work with Bruno Care, that the philosophy is that you have to make the best of your life. You have to live every day like it's your last, and it has to be a happy one. <laughs>